So in order to begin investing, you have to become familiar with the terms that are used every day. So consider this part one. Stocks are a piece of a company that you can purchase in the form of shares. Once you buy one share of a company, you are essentially an owner of that company, a very small owner. Mutual funds contain stocks, bonds, securities. They're typically managed by a fund manager. When you purchase a mutual fund, there are typically fees associated with that, yearly fees, and they're referred to as expense ratios. Index funds matches markets. What that means is they'll typically match the S&P 500, the Dow, certain portions of markets, and they contain a lot of stocks. And that means more diversification. So when stocks go down, you don't get hit as hard. Index funds are very popular at the moment. And then bonds are essentially a loan. You buy a bond and the company or city or government agrees to pay back that bond at a higher price. Um, just keep in mind certain bonds are risky. There's a variety of bonds, but think of bonds as a loan. When you go to buy a stock, you'll essentially see four items associated with buying or selling a stock. So you'll see buy, which is basically what it says. You buy one share of a stock for a certain price, and then you could sell it for a certain price. But the bid is what you want to buy the stock at. Say you want to buy a stock at $99, that's your bid price. And then you'll see ask, that's what people are asking for their stock. So you might want to buy yours, which is bid at $99. The ask might be at $100. A stockbroker is someone who buys and sells stocks for you. So nowadays, you'll call an investment firm and you'll speak to somebody and they can make trades on behalf of your account. And there's typically a fee associated with that. A brokerage account, this is a taxable account. It's similar to a Roth IRA, except everything is taxable. And it's the same process. You go to Fidelity, Vanguard, some investment firm, you sign up, you deposit money, and then you make trades. Bear market. A bear market is when the market is tanking, I would say more than 20% for a good amount of time, and everyone continues to pull their money out of the market. So think of it as a bear. It goes to its cave, it hides, it stays in that cave, it doesn't want to leave. That's a bear market. A bull market is the opposite. Bull markets rally for a good period of time and investors are confident that the market's going to go up. So think of a bull when it goes on its path, not many things can stop it. it. just continues to run and run. That's the same way they refer to it as a bull market. And money just continues to flow in. People are happy. The investments are making them money. That is a bull market. This video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.